Carpe diem. Making the nation work by living in the moment. The late Thomas S. Monson, a former World War II veteran and American religious leader and the 16th president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, once said, and I quote, The past is behind. Learn from it. The future is ahead. Prepare for it. The present is here. Leave it. The phrase Carpe Diem is part of the longer Carpe Diem Quam Minimum Sridula Posterior, which is often translated as Seize the Day, put very little trust in tomorrow, the future. It is not to ignore the future, but rather not to trust that everything is going to fall into place for you and taking action for the future today. You may want to ask, how does living in the moment make a nation work? Well, the answer is not far-fetched. Look at our situation here in Nigeria, where everyone is talking about the next election. It is not yet 2023, we are just in 2022. I even remember a joke on social media where someone said that we should just have 2023 before we come back to 2022, just because of the anxiety over the 2023 general election. Just last month, some officials in the presidency and even the president himself expressed their worries over the legacy of President Muhammad Buhari and the citizens' assessment of his administration. This shows that we are too worried about the future of the, at the expense of the present realities. Now, I don't mean that we should not think and plan for our future as a nation, but I'm saying that we should focus more on addressing our current challenges and processes so that we can have a great future as a nation. Some of the issues of interest are insecurity, socioeconomic development, youth drive and development, inclusive governance, infrastructural development, quality education, social welfare, anti-corruption, just to mention but a few. It is important to note that these issues can be addressed by in intentional, continuous and collective effort from stakeholders, governments and the entire citizenry. Building a nation is a continuous progression from one administration to another, from one dispensation to another. It is important for us to focus on establishing strong institutions, fair and just policies and laws, and constitution over personal interests. When we as a nation is intentional about doing the right things in the present moment, then we have nothing to worry about the future and our legacies because we have created it already. We should focus more on good governance and not just the elections. The future is great for those who are intentional about every moment they spend. Capi Dien. Now, uh, politician here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me start with you. You know, um, okay, you call me politician. I'll try to, to carry that name. Okay. Um, I've always thought that or looked at life as um, one of my godfathers is... Um, of course, the next generation. I also am of the belief, you know, we should plan for them adequately, which has been a massive problem we've had in this country. I think one of the things that, if you look at Nigeria generally, let me take you back a little bit. So sometime in the 70s, we had a young uh, president mm -hmm. who thought the best thing to do during an oil boom was to pay people thrice their salaries <laughs> and do a few other funny things and Festac 77 included. When you look at it down the line, you would realize the amount of infrastructure he could have put in place with that money, the amount of industries he could have put in place with that money, and that was because he was thinking about the day and not the future. Mm -hmm. So as much as I'd like to say, yeah, we could carpe them about everything, but I think we just can just carpe them about things that are not national development. Mm. That's my position. Mm. Well, the before you, I come to both of you. The idea of this is that you know we focus too much about the future to the extent that we, we forget the present, and we forgotten that the future is a summation of the past present. Mm. So, if you are talking about infrastructural development in the future, start now. You like if that president you said had been wise enough to say, okay, we have Oibu now. What can we do with this oil boom that will be better for the citizen? And he put it into where it's good. Trust me, the future, that means now, we'll be thanking that president for being wise. Because no, but, but like I said, 
he thought of paying people three times. That, that's what we're saying. He should have focused on <laughs> what is important. When you live in the moment, living in the moment does not mean being lavish and, and spending lavishly or, or being foolish. Live in the moment, do the best for that moment. Is investment into the future the best for the moment? It is. Yes. So. It's a, it's a, I feel like that's very contradictory that <laughs> if I'm capitalizing, if I'm capitalizing, <laughs> and I'm living in the moment, <laughs> I won't be I won't be thinking about investment for the future. I'll be thinking about the latest thing now in town to get. But our government can't absolutely copy them because I feel like that's what they've been doing all the and that's why we are where we are now. So they can't copy them at all. They have to think oil is drying up. Nobody everybody's doing um what's it called now? So going into solar um energy and like con um conserving the sun sunlight and whatnot. They are not nearest future oil won't be like the biggest this in that it's it is not, at the, we, we can even euro has said you are euro the europe has even said by 2030 they don't want to be using fossil fuels it's not far it's exactly far. it's eight years well, it's eight, 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 eight years from it, now in their future mm. they have electric cars in being being produced now we see which so, now we i we um i stand corrected Nigerian, our government, we can cap them because the whole world is leaving us behind. <laughs> We've been cap them in all along. Dubai has left oil. <laughs> they don't touch their oil. Ah. Okay. Strategies want to say something. Just to tie up all you guys have been saying. I mean, it's we're all on the same page. Yeah. yeah. Today is a tomorrow. We exactly. talked about yesterday. Yeah. Okay. And the truth is, I think coming from a lighter standpoint of view, no. Now plan for the future. But don't worry about it right plan for it but not you're not overly worried mm. you know you, you you can't only live in the present yeah you can't live in the past you can't live in the future you can plan for the future but you live in the moment mm. so we're we're currently at plus tv so we can't be any other place now no. now i can be thinking about oh i have meeting for you know in the next one hour yeah. but i'm here so i could be so worried about my next meeting and forget that I have to contribute to the conversation. All right. So it's about planning for the future, not so overly worried about it. Who oh, is going to become president? I'm so worried. What will happen? Will yeah. the country shut down? Are we going to go bankrupt? Is Nigeria going to melt? You know, but it's going to plan strategically. But however, what do you have currently? What yeah. can we wield? What resources do we have at our disposal? What can we do as a people, you know, in achieving that you know future so it's good to plan for it but don't leave living in the future is living in the bubble mm -hmm. saying oh in 2025 I'm, I'm going to build something massive start now lay the bricks victor mm -hmm. victor you know. i love your point <laughs> but i'm still going to say this <laughs> this is going this, is, this, this i think is going to be but i think we're on the same this, this, no, we're on the same page yeah, but, go ahead. but i think this is going to finally settle the matter all right so if you came from a country like rwanda or um france or um turkey or you know countries that you know are moving towards they have working satellites uh, last our, our head of our space management agency said to nigerians is that our satellite is there when the senator asked him are you sure the satellite is yeah yeah, yeah. but we're hearing that there's no satellite say okay go to space and go and find it that's the situation we're in so for in in nigeria uh, we don't have that luxury <laughs> of Cap DM. I'm sorry, we don't. Yeah. And so if you are Rwanda, yeah, you put satellite in in this in the sky for school children to browse the internet. Inter uh, if it rains, we, we but, our phones don't browse but, well. But, but, we have a serious problem. So the, I'm more Cap DM with national <laughs> development. But but that, yeah, on a personal listen. level, it's a good thing. Uh, but, but, but on a yeah, national on level, a national it may not really government. be a good thing. Yeah, so that's, the, that's the balance. No there. Okay. <laughs> for the past how many years? For the past 30, 40 years ago, they've been saying we are planning for. They never did. If we are talking about 2023, we are worried about having Vision 2020. 2023. We've got we are worried about the election. 2023. Yes, we are. We are not ready to cop security insecurity now. How can you not have good, uh, free and fair and uh, peaceful election in 2023 when you are not ready to do the needs for now? So that's the argument. Focus on let's plan for the future, not worry about it. Oh, we are worried. Oh, we will be the president of this and that. They are, they are not planning. But you need to focus on now. As we, are as we are planning for the future, what are we going to do now to address those problems now so that the future can be great? Okay. That's the idea. We thank you for your attention. While the program lasted, we hoped our conversations resonated with you and that in some small way encouraged you to contribute to your immediate environment. 
Little drops of water, they say, makes a mighty ocean. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG, and on Instagram at Plus TV Africa. The hashtag is at the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, please go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the Advocate NG. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time, this station. Let us keep advocating for a better society. See you next time.